Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement this moon texture. Sorry, moon material. So this is the final preview. Uh, you can see. Uh, you can see the surface details uh, with the normal map and also. Uh, one side is darker because it gets light from this way and also uh, across the edge where it gets the sunlight we have this additional brightness as well to make it look uh, nicer so yeah let's see how to implement this today and also you have this the starry night uh, sky sphere that we worked on previously as well So this is the same project. I worked on this Jupiter material and I have added this night sky as well that I worked on previously. So um, now we are going to add the moon here. So let's see how, how to implement a proper material that match the moon. Okay, for that first I'll I'm going to download this moon texture from the solar system scope.com. I'm going to use the 2k material but if you want you can use the 8k material and this is that material and I have downloaded it here you can see uh, 2k moon and using this uh, normal map online website you can drag and drop the texture the base texture to generate a normal map so i since the moon is lit from the sun we would need a normal map also to have a detailed look so yeah you can since i don't have one here i can generate one and download using this button and i have downloaded that also here okay now let's uh, go back to the project mm. let me duplicate this oh wait duplicate this project so this map Jupiter 2 I name it So now, here under materials, let me add a new folder and import the two materials normal map and the base color map. Right, so this is named editor sphere. I'll name this moon and I'll create a new material M the reason I'm not using the same material I have implemented for the Jupiter maybe I should name this M Jupiter the reason I'm not using it is here we have multiple layers to get this uh, to get this storm turbulence effect on the Jupiter surface so we can't reuse that for the moon so we need to have a different material okay let me use this material just drag and drop and see how it looks it looks pretty dark and that's because this is actually our directional light uh, so it looks dark because I have turned down the intensity of the directional light uh, to have this night look if I increase it I can easily see the moon but then again the sky looks weird so you can't have that so we need to keep the same uh, mood in the environment but still I need the moon to be much lighter 
so let me open the material let me drag and drop the normal map as well Why does it look weird? Is it inverted? Maybe it's inverted. Yeah, because uh, these areas should they kind of look like above the normal surface level so we can actually easily fix that if i invert the height yeah now those areas are lower okay so m sorry the already downloaded texture and download okay let's re-import and yeah now it looks correct but why is this flickering i think that's because of the higher resolution but we wouldn't get the flickering here because it's not moving fast okay uh, next thing is uh, let's connect an emission as well great but when we connect the emission um, the shadow will okay is gone uh, then let me discount this uh, let's first let's first uh, promote these parameters metallic i think zero is fine for that specular a little roughness it shouldn't be rough so 0.8 okay right so let's try something like this uh, before we plug the emissive color like this uh, let's do a calculation let's get the light direction sky atmosphere light direction this gives us the direction of the directional light we can do a dot product with the pixel normal so there are two normal vectors we can use vertex normal this one and pixel normal let me show you both so if i use the vertex normal multiply sorry get the dot product with the light direction and multiply it with this base texture and plug to the emissive color now you can see this area where the light light is coming from that direction so that's why this this lower part becomes dark and this area does become darker however when we do that this uh the shadow details that are coming from the normal map is vanished see they are not there but if i use the pixel normal the shadow details that is coming from the normal map remains so that is a better choice right see now it looks somewhat okay but i think the normal map is too intense so maybe we should 
reduce the intensity of the normal mat a bit uh, but we can't clearly see the shadow here yeah this angle is good now this area is completely dark this is lit this side is lit sun is in that way cool um so how should we turn down the intensity of the normal map i think there is a node called flatten normal let's try this one and flatness let's promote this to uh, Okay, parameter brightness uh, wait zero what if I make it one it's fully go point three okay point one point five so when we increase this value the flatness increases six point four 0.5 seems good yeah that's better right but uh, yeah how to get this additional brightness across this frame so for that we can use the same strategy we use same method we used for the Jupiter uh, Let me show you what we did there. Like this. We got the world position and camera position and subtracted and normalized to get the uh, direction so that uh, the surface area that directly face the player would be would have a lower value and this edge area would have a higher value. Let me do that here. World position, absolute world position, and camera position. So tracked and normalize to get a direction vector. Then to uh, the dot product, let's use the pixel normal here also. And if I preview this, it's all black. But if I add one to this, and let me preview this node. Now you can see this area is dark, so we uh, this area is white. So what we want is uh, only this edge area where the sunlight hits should be white, so that we can give some boost to the emission levels across the ring. So we need to consider the light direction as well that means we have to multiply this with this with the result of this dot product now you can see darkness in this here also see right what's next let me change these nodes to make it more clear. Okay. Now we need to push this dark boundary closer to the edge. So we can use a power node for that let's use a value 8 
and let me preview that so now see only this edge a small area of the edge is white which is exactly what we need um, then let's use a clamp So now we can use the result of this calculation to have a let's use a lerp node linear interpolate node by default we should get the result of this and here we should get the result of this multiplied by a larger value let me stop preview in this node so that we can have additional brightness across the edge that means let's try something like 100 now i think we have that brightness let's see in the world not much how about Okay, now we have that brightness. See, looks good. And if we want to spread the brightness uh, to inverse to this circle, oh, what we have to do is reducing this power. Not there, this is Jupiter. If I make it instead of 8, 6, see now it has a larger area of shininess. Mm, yeah, but you can adjust it to whatever the way you want. Want it to look. Maybe we should turn down the brightness a bit. Okay, so I'm going to stop this episode right here. So here is the final version. Um, do we have the character here? Let me play. Okay, this is how it looks. So, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.